Hey, how's everyone doing? Ah, we got a review, a nice little project from Viver. They sent me a hitch cargo carrier. You know, it goes on the back of the hitch of like a car or an SUV or something like that. Give you a little extra storage. So we're gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna check it out, see what's in here. So hold on one second. All right, let's see what's in the old package right here. Sealed up good. Nice warm day in Connecticut. Pollen's nice and high right now, so I saw it sound like it's a cold. I know what that's all about. Alright. Oh, we got ice traps here. Take a look here. Feels pretty good. I'd have to say it's made of steel. All right, so that's how it's going to go. I'm going to look at the instructions and see how we put this hardware together, and we'll go from there. So hold on. All right, guys, we're back at it. This is pretty simple to build. Has all the instructions right here. Everything where it goes, labeled. Pretty simple. Uh, you got a nice lock, uh, lock nuts on here with the nylon in them. Pretty good. 17 millimeter. So we're going to do this one first. The short bolts go over here. The watcher. And then the short one. simple. Now we got to put the hitch with the receiver on the underneath. All right, next is the uh, hitch bar. Has a nice reflector on it. Leave this sticking up, I guess. And lift it up. And here we go. Now we got two bolts. These don't get washers. One, two. like everything right there. 
All right. I guess we get to go fit it into the car now. See how she works. So uh, hold on. All right. Next, we got the uh, the pin to hold the hitch in. And this should be pretty straightforward. And there we go. So that's on there. This holds up to 500 pounds. But it's a little jiggly. So now we got to put the stabilizer on it next. So hold on. All right, this is the hitch stabilizer. Just snaps right on or pulls right on. 13 millimeter uh, wrench. Let's see what's the best way to get to this. This is what the stabilizer looks like. That's it. This piece has to go. Make sure that's underneath the hitch. Got a U, uh, U bolt there. And that's it. Now it's nice and sturdy. Much better. So there we go. Yeah, it's, overall, it's not a bad hitch for the money. It's. You know, it'll carry up to 500 pounds, which is pretty good on that. Just as long as your hitch could, and then this thing could no problem. All right, let's load some stuff on it and see what it looks like. Try out their cargo net. So hold on. I got the cargo net all put on here. Looks pretty good. It's actually a nice net. Stretch is good. Um, if you look over here, where the hooks go, these are reinforced. You get double on these. So I don't see that breaking anytime soon. Yeah, holds it all in nice. I got plenty more hooks over here, too So you can literally just hook it all the way around So you have a lot more of those uh, Also in case you got something Different where you're not going to use the cargo um, Net nice you got three uh, ratchet straps right here and You can just go right over the whole thing one that way one that way one that way And there you go. Yeah all right, overall, I'm going to approve on this. This is a pretty nice little system right here. It's made of metal. It's not aluminum. Um, guessing the weight, 40 pounds. It holds up to 500 pounds, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, check them out. I'll have a link in the description below. And if it's something you're interested in, it, yeah, there's, check it out. See what v uh, Vivor has. They have a lot of stuff there. So that's it for this video. And um, see you guys later. Bye-bye.